What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab and today we are finally back with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to edit to music in iMovie and this is method will actually work in Final Cut Pro. So let's get into it. First and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is a YouTube channel to accompany our website creativetechlab.com we do talk about all things creative in a bunch of different niches, including video creation, audio production, and eventually a bunch of other stuff. So right now on the channel, we do a lot of video editing. I do a lot of run and gun stuff, specifically around the Sony RX100 Mark VI. So if you're into run and gun videography or any kind of audio engineering or music production, definitely go ahead hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notifications button. You will not be disappointed. So let's get into how to edit music in iMovie and Final Cut Pro. All right, so most of the videos and everything that I do, whether it's for friends and family or if it's something that I'm gonna put up on the channel, if it is that I'm doing any kind of cinematic B-roll, it's definitely edited to a track. Actually, if I can have a track beforehand, it definitely helps me out in terms of planning out shots and knowing if I want to get something specific if it's going to go to the drop. So when it is that I'm editing the music, I get the song onto the timeline. Check up here to see how to add music to your iMovie. I did a video on that a few weeks back. However, once I get the song onto the timeline, I just kind of go through and I listen to it at least one time. And then I go through and I hit the M button on every single beat. So most music is cut to a 444 beat and you kind of want to do I know some people will just do like the kick and the snares or some people just do the snare what you want to do is kind of just hit every four right so it's one two three four one two three four one two three four so I just kind of do that as the song is going and I just listen just listen to it and I just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And sometimes if the song is at that pace, I go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To catch a hi-hat and not just the kick and the snares. And then what that enables you to do is you have a bunch of markers that hit on different beats. So some that hit on the kick, some that hit on the snares, some that sometimes you might hit on a hi-hat or you might get like a stutter or something if you want to hit it a little bit faster when you know the song is coming. And then that way you don't have to get monot monotonous like a lot of people do and just always hit markers on your snares, but you can always go kick, snare, hi-hat or whatever and that way it kind of changes up the footage. So let's just jump into iMovie real quick and just show you what that actually looks like. All right, so we're in iMovie here. Um, I have a track here. I edited it up just a little bit just so I could get to the part where the beat kind of starts. If you don't know how to add a track in iMovie, link will be up above for you to find it. Anyway, this is our track. Let me just play it back real quick. <laughs> So there you have it, you have some drums, you have some snares, kicks, some snares or whatever. Let me just turn this track down just a little bit, just so you could hear me while it is that I'm doing the marker. So as I said before, we're gonna hit the M button. We're gonna use just the M button and we're gonna tap. Now again, every song or most every song is to a four, four beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. While you definitely could do just the one, two, three, four, you catch your kick and your snares. I normally like to go double time. That way you're not just, most people normally just cut to either a kick or a snare. If you go double up in time, you're still on tempo with the beat, but then you can kind of pick and choose. So let's just hit the beat real quick and see how that goes. So I'll show you both ways. So I normally go either. So let's see how that kind of turned out. Yeah. 
So we still have our beats here. Let's just grab some. Um, let me just grab. Let's see if we have some stuff here. We do. We have the kids. Let's get a drone shot going there. So we have that on the timeline. And then normally what I'm able to do is just say here. See, I opened it up. And then we could just control B. Drop that off there. Let's see. Picture with the kids. Option command B will detach audio. I will go ahead and just retime that real quick. We'll do slow. We'll do automatic to whatever the clip was. Let's go ahead here and see where that. So I can cut on the kick there. Command B right where the marker was. And then since we just go again here, let's just go in I and O for in and out. Again, let's detach that audio and retime this one real quick. Just the auto. We did the last one on the kick, so this should be the snare and this should be the other kick. Uh, cut there so let's just see what we have so far let's just get a couple more clips on there and just drop them to the snare real quick let's see here in out let's go here in out, drop that there. There's another. Uh, there's another cool clip of the little homie Ari jumping around in slow motion. In, I'll drop that there. Let's go ahead and let me just select these clips. Let me detach the audio. And again, detach audio if you didn't notice. Option Command B in iMovie. Let's go Shift Select All do those let's select all that there and then i'll just show you you know i don't edit in final cut i don't i edit in final cut i don't edit in iMovie anymore but let's see here so let's go ahead and get a couple on the snare Again, and another snare, and then So that's kind of how you just cut. That's how I cut. Sometimes another thing that you need to do when you're in iMovie, by the way, I'm using command plus and minus to zoom in and out. Sometimes you just need to zoom in. See like this one here wasn't all the way there. So you could trim that just back a little bit just to make sure that your next clip kind of starts where you want it to. Same thing here. Um, so it kind of snaps in line with that marker. And then, yeah, that is kind of it so that's how i edit to music in iMovie and the same principle kind of um, applies to final cut pro again the only thing that i would say is instead of just doing your one two three four is to double up or triple up on the tempo that way you could cut um, some songs you might even want to cut to the hi-hat and you can always change up the rhythm whether you're cutting on the kick or the snare on the hi-hat sometimes there's a stutter but if you double up on your markers you could pick and choose which markers you want to use um, and yeah that's it so yeah it is that easy once it is that you actually plan out your shots and if you get enough markers again you won't always have to cut to one instrument so your shots can be a lot more varied or your cuts can be a lot more varied and then you can always add in your sound design like your whooshes and all that stuff or anything that's particular to the song so thank you for watching hopefully this video helped somebody if it did 
definitely go ahead and drop it a like. Drop something down in the comments if there's something different or you edit music different in iMovie or in Final Cut Pro. Again, definitely hit the subscribe button. There's actual a few more iMovie videos or tutorials, my way of giving back even though I've moved on to Final Cut Pro. And look out for the next video and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.